February 2003. That was when Deliverance Church was launched. The first Sunday was, was first, of, uh, first of February 2003. That's when Deliverance Church was born. The joy of every parent is to see their child grow. Deliverance Church Kitengala is such a child, a child birthed from the dream of a young man with the desire to serve the Lord. Young Bishop Muhammad Kamwaro. It is the peace of God that prevails in your house, in your home, in your heart, in your family, irrespective of the turbulence. The Lord has worked with us this journey and uh, through uh, the Church of Deliverance Church, Eldoret, that's where we have grown, that's where we have been nurtured and uh, under the leadership of Bishop uh, uh, George Kichana and uh, he has been our father for all the times that we got born again and uh, he has walked with us the journey and uh, after that we we were able to begin a church in Moise Bridge where many things happened into our lives because I started my ministry in the children ministry. We met um, uh, Bishop Kamaro um, was serving in Deliverance Church uh, Moise Bridge as an associate because when we joined uh, Deliverance Church Moise Bridge, um, he came in and uh, 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 he, because he relocated from Eldoret and he was requested to assist the pastor then, Reverend Kidion Okola. So he was serving in the capacity of an associate to the senior pastor, Reverend Okola, and Selim. The bishop, an agriculturist by profession, was to later get a job at Stone Athi around Kitengela in Kajiado County. And professionally, I'm a... I'm an, an agriculturist. I did agricultural economics in the university. And we, we, I got a job in uh, Stoniadi. That time, Stoniadi, today's Premarosa. And we, we, I worked there from 1999 late to 2002. Two. 2002. Deep down in his heart, Bishop Kamaro desired to serve the Lord in his very own church, but the time wasn't right, yet. By the grace of God, it's many years we met. They, were, they came to me from Bishop George Gichana in Eldoret. Bishop George Gichana is one of my colleagues, one of the seven elders, a uh, team of uh, apostolic bishops in this church. And Bishop Kamaro and his wife Grace, uh, they were born again in Eldoret, and they went to worship with Deliverance Church Eldoret, and that's why they felt the call. And that's when uh, they expressed it to my colleague, Bishop George Gichana, and Bishop Gichana, uh, especially when they expressed the desire to come to work around Kitengela area. He told them, I know someone is working in that area, and he connected with me at that particular time. So it is that through that connection of my colleague, Bishop George Gichana, that I met uh, Bishop Mohammed and Grace, and that's many years. I may not remember the exact year, but it's quite a long time ago. Now, uh, still the call is there. Come out, can you open a, ch a church? I remember we came from Nyamachoma in Kitengela, and when we, when we were going to wash our hands, I had a voice, start a church here. Then I said now again, this voice, start a church. And it was very audible, because it was somebody talking to me. Then I told her, now, I, again, the voice is come because we are, we are used to this voice. Since the day I was born again, I had the same voice, the same voice again is telling me, open a church. So we went to Miriam's place, hired the hall for one year, stayed without nobody but paying, uh, paying the hall until the second year, when now Bishop Masinde said, okay, why don't you help a deliverance church at River to shift from Portland? By then... Uh uh, Reverend Kokonyo, uh, Emmanuel Kokonyo, and uh, Lucy were the senior pastors of Deliverance Church at River. So uh, uh, Bishop J.P. Masinda, who received uh, Bishop Kamaro in this, in this part of uh, Kitengela, requested him to assist uh, Reverend Emmanuel Kokonyo and, and, and the Pastor Lucy in Deliverance Church at River. 
when Mohamed Kamaro came to me, I sent him to Earth River to work with Kokonyo, which he agreed and submitted to for almost two to three years so that the church in Earth River would be stable. And then we came and did a crusade along that, that, that time it was just one road, there was no feeder road. And just beside the highway there, we got a piece of ground, we did a crusade there, I preached in that crusade, and we planted the church in Kitengela. I'm glad to hear that's 20 years ago. Congratulations. So we tried with Pastor Emmanuel, we pushed at the river uh, until we are, we, are, we are in that river and then in late 2002, that is when we started the fellowship in Kitangela. On February 2003, one crusade will literally become the solid rock on which the bishop's call to begin a church was set on. A voice, more like a conversation, beckoning him to start the church rang out loud in his head. He started Deliverance Church Kitengela at Miriam's place with nothing but a step of faith. My friends, better believe it, faith is a currency. Two or two later, I think November uh, 20 something, 26 I think, uh, we, we started the fellowship and we started a crusade now in two or three, I think uh, February, we did a crusade which Bishop Masinde uh, came to preach and we opened Deliverance Church. And we were officially launched on the 1st of February 2003. That was when Deliverance Church was launched. The first Sunday was, was 1st, of, uh, 1st of February 2003. That's when Deliverance Church was born. The journey of faith was more or less beginning here. Not necessarily a Sunday service, but more of a fellowship. They held a series of prayers and praise with Bishop Grace playing Jane of all trades, a praise and worship leader, an usher, sound technician, pastor, you name it. Imagine a fully equipped church with just two people. When uh, he had the voice to open the church, we got the hall and uh, we began from there and he paid the hall. And for those months when Deliverance Church was not yet a Deliverance Church, but it was an a fellowship where I used to do lunch hours and I could come set the instruments and uh, after setting the instrument I, I begin the worship I'm just alone with the seats there and uh, the time for preaching comes I preach you pray I pray I call for altar call I I pray that prayer with whoever that is listening with my seat and uh, of course, you know, there is always a say that you are not alone. And uh, after I finish, close down and I go. Slowly, they started to pick up and lure congregants to the church. What, what really attracted me, I, I used to hear a voice mm -hmm. of prayer each and every morning, very early in the morning. Mm -hmm. I used to hear a voice of a woman praying very early every morning. And because I love prayer, mm -hmm. I could always desire to probably get to, to Miriam's place, mm -hmm. just get to know where this sound is coming from. 2003, uh, my wife was going along Kitengera and she brought me a report that there is a very good church. She, she has attended lunch, our meeting. And so I told her, we'll, we'll, we will attend on Sunday. So when we, we went on Sunday, there was no service. So we realized that the Deliverance Church Kitengera was only having weekdays meeting, but on Sunday there was no service. So then uh, we were like, where are we going to attend services again? So we used to go to Nairobi again until one day, uh, we came to service again so we, we realized that the services had kicked off so we uh, we attended the very first service uh, at Miriam's and she she encouraged us to go to that church and see what is going on and since we went there we decided to stay there and not move anymore because yes as pastor John has said there is no perfect church so we decided to stay there and grew with that church and up to today we have seen the fruitness of God and again we met people 
they have big hearts, they love people, so we decided to stick with them. Despite removing, despite the challenges in life, we decided to stay there. Things were beginning to streamline. The bishops thought it best to move to Kichinjio Place, where the first Deliverance Church building was birthed, an improvement from their previous hall at Miriam's Place. Now that it's a young church starting, and we started well, and God opened doors. God opened doors for us. Uh, we grew very fast. We outgrew the hall. We went to uh, Prison Road along the Abbot Apale Kichinjio. We were there for three years, I think. The number of believers was growing, and the walls of Deliverance Church couldn't hold anymore. With the great flow of numbers came an even greater need to move to a bigger place a bigger home to accommodate the growing congregation. So, the bishop sought out for the perfect place in mind and God was with him. Now we were looking for land. That is when we came to this area. This area had nobody. And this area was a no-go zone. It was habited by the, the most dangerous thugs. I remember Mazeri and, and, his, and his friends. And we came, and, and now Madheri said, he sent one of our, one, one man came and said to me, you know Madheri lives here. And actually, he, uh, when we were uh, in prayer, uh, on a Friday prayer, one of our members was hit by a gun. He hit one of the members and cracked his face. And we said, by the blood of that man, no more blood shed here. So he had to move. When he moved to the river, he was caught. Uh, and that brought a breakthrough in this area. So we settled here. And that is where now the Deliverance Church Kitengela uh, is in. Serving the house of the Lord has been a blessing unto me. Kwanza ile touching heaven. You know, kule at our home reserve, there is no that touching heaven. We have only Bible studies, then the main service. But when we came here, we found another, another, another service of touching heaven. And it has been so good to me. It has changed a lot in my life. I think uh, God works with the seasons at times. Because I have indicated that I have been a pastor for over 12 years in the former church. And literally, I, I was feeling that I needed to be to be somewhere uh, uh, leading a, a, a ministry, maybe. And then uh, I think by coming to Bishop Kamaro, I never knew, knew him to that depth, but by coming was a connection for him to, try to, to catapult me to another level, whereby I can, I can have a ministry, maybe, because I have I, I had been a pastor for a long time. So I tend to think that is part of what God wanted me to to, 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 to go to. Without a doubt, Deliverance Church Kitengela has flourished because of great leadership from our bishops. Bishop Mark Kariuki saw a powerhouse in Bishop Kamwaro and so did Bishop J.B. Masinde, his spiritual father. Bishop Masinde is a spiritual... You know, what we learned is that in ministry, you can never uh, become a man of impact without a spiritual covering. Uh, spiritual fathers are very key because somebody said uh, if you do not have a father you have no feathers spiritual fathers are there to control uh, control you in terms of uh, the doctrine you preach uh, uh, directs you it shows you where to go to go because they have been there for a long time more, more than more than ourselves so he helped us so quickly to grow because he would give us books to read, he would talk to us, he would uh, speak uh, on leadership and guide us. So we grew very fast. With his, with his presence and leadership, we grew very fast. Now that Bishop George handed over us, uh, us, handed over us to him, uh, we grew with his leadership, insight, and of course, being now in a new environment. So, a little idea, Sana. Whenever God gives you children, whether they are physical children or spiritual children, Jesus puts, puts it this way. The things that I do, you shall also do, and even greater than what I do. So it's always a desire of a spiritual father 
that their own sons and daughters will do what they are doing and even excel. Because the opportunities keep on becoming more and more as we go, as time goes by. Things that we found difficult are becoming easier and easier as time goes by. Call it the trickle-down effect because in his own time, Bishop Kamaro has emulated in the footsteps of his spiritual mentors, fathering many sons all around Kitengela. Oh, it, it came to a time whereby I, uh, we started a fellowship near, 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 nearby, near here, where we, where we serve. So when we started a fellowship, it peaked. It had so many people. But do you know what I did? I left all those members with my wife. I told her, now you can go ahead with them. I went to work in Eldoret. <laughs> for quite some time but the fellowship was going on and I, I, I would come once in a month or two, twice but uh, eventually I got an accident the first accident uh, so when I was in the bed God ministered and t God told me now it is me and if you don't uh, if you don't go to ministry I'm going to do something else so th that time I broke my right hand and that is it. So when I come to, I came to, to Bishop and told him now, with my plaster, I told the Bishop, Bishop, the, I got an accident. He told me, you are going to die. You refused ministry. You will die. So I was like, instead of uh, telling me, uh, sorry, so he was so harsh and told me, you are going to die if you refuse ministry. That now, uh, simply that is how I now gave in. Deliverance Church Kitengela has grown over time, experiencing epic and transformational milestones, a big one being the founding of learning institutions for both kids and adults, Doxa Academy and Focus Institute. You know, when we began Deliverance Church, we had a great vision. And uh, the vision that uh, God gave us uh, through Bishop Kamaru as our spiritual father and uh, my husband, you know, there are those times in prayer we could pray and God will be, give us, you know, see things in the spirit that God is giving unto us. And, uh, you know, Bishop will always say that uh, this town will grow. And uh, when you look back when uh, we began, Kitengela is not the, the same Kitengela it was then. It was just a small village, like a center. And uh, there are times Bishop will say, this town will have banks, will have good transport, because we had a big issue with the transport. This town will grow, will have a TV. He said also we'll have uh, our own jet, jet. and uh, we'll have our own schools. And uh, you know, sometimes big visions, when you dream them, you can maybe sometimes it's like, hey, will it come to pass? And we have seen everything coming to pass day in, day out. Kitengela Transport, which was not there, many transport companies came, banks, they came, we never had a bank, we used to go to Anthe River for cooperative bank. Banks came, Kitengela now is full of banks, and uh, the town has grown. And as we move on, you also said, when God will give us a land, we'll go and make sure we have even school. Now, not one school, but schools. Doxa is a God-given name. When we, when, when we were praying somewhere, I think in uh, Prison Road, God said the school. The name Doxa means uh, glory. glory, means glory. The Doxa. So when God spoke to us, he said the school you are opening, the project, actually not the school, the project you are going to open, all shall be called Doxa. And the name came, meaning glory. The birth of media ministry and Doxa TV. The media, the media department has come from far. I can remember uh, Reverend Murongi used to do. He was he was in the media team, and he was the one who was doing videos, uh, which at that point was one of the key elements for evangelism. So I I I, I took my uh, my Sony. Uh, radio cassette, which I had bought some back times back, 
I took <laughs> it and uh, decided, um, began recording these tapes. Mm -hmm. uh, so these messages are, were recorded in 204. Most of them were 204. Uh, I started recording them and keeping them for, for just history. So that sometimes we can listen to them. So uh, after recording, uh, we, we introduced, now we started selling them at a very cheap price that time. But my focus was not selling. What was, my focus was to preserve yes. those messages. And uh, when I came of age, I joined the, the media team, and I've seen it grow. In fact, uh, in the era of doing DVDs and CDs, we used to print them uh, on a Sunday basis. Service in Aisha, in a co edited immediately. I don't know how we used to do it. I, I, I just can't figure it out. But by the time we were done, what uh, was a CD? Yeah, your Sunday. And uh, looking at our bishop, he's very passionate about media, specifically because he wants to see the church uh, being seen out there. The Birth of Hope Ministry, a ministry devoted to charity. Hope Ministry is the ministry that was founded by our prophets, the bishops. It is in their heart. It is in their blood. That is one area that they operate in because they are first and foremost very generous. First and foremost, they, are, they want to reach out to the less fortunate, to the vulnerables, to the needy people in, 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 in our societies. And that is why we have Hope Ministry here in the church as a way of accomplishing their vision and, and, and their goal. And that through Hope Ministry, which our bishops started, many lives have been transformed. In the 20 years of growing from childhood to adulthood, Deliverance Church Kitsengala foreseen the birth of sons and churches in Koinania City, Isinya, Deliverance Church Southgate, Deliverance Church Kaputei, Deliverance Church Airview, Deliverance Church Daystar, Deliverance Church Maparasha, DC Siokimao, DC Milimani, and the latest one in EPZ. You know, that is our pride, bringing up sons and daughters. You know, you are own kind. And let me tell you, every church we have planted, it has gone with our genes. The church just starts and it grows. And uh, when we look at that, that is what we are so proud for because we are called to multiply, not just to stay warm chairs, have a big congregation in one place, but we are called to plant churches. And I remember uh, the, the, the word of prophecy that you were given, that we will have a lot of children. And when uh, we heard of that prophecy, we asked children, and he said, no, spiritual children. And we can see this far, the children that were brought up in this ministry. We have planted them. We have seen the churches grow, and we are so glad when we see that. For us in Deliverance Church, uh, we thank God that even in this year, God has remembered us. Because God has given us water, as our bishop has said, and uh, God has helped us to be able to clear the post the land. That's something was a huge mountain for us. And uh, God has continued to do great things for us. 20 years down the line, all of us have something to attest to being under the leadership of Bishop Muhammad and Grace Kamwaro. They have a heart of fatherhood. Mm -hmm. They are true parents. They are, they are, I mean, he is a true father. Mm -hmm. He is such a love. You know, you know you, there, is, there is no way you can give up, mm -hmm. give up on him. He's such a loving father. My highlight serving under them is I learned so much from them. Uh, to be very honest, I'm a shy lady and a year ago I wouldn't stand before people and lead people through prayers. But seeing Bishop Grace and Bishop Mohammed at the altar leading us in prayers, preaching and all that, they have really impacted me and they pray for us so much. The growth of Deliverance Church still remains to be a tongue-tying story 
of rising from grass to grace, a story of growth from trenches to conquering mountaintops, a story that will seem like a fairy tale and yet very real and accurate, and the visions for Deliverance Church Kitengela very intact. In celebration, you also have projection that Deliverance Church will also grow because we are trusting God that we also build a new building. I will be putting down another building because we are looking at the congregation growing. Of course, the future for Deliverance Church Kitengela is awesome because we are, we are looking at um, the, uh, the phase two of this church. This is phase one, so we are looking at phase two. So phase two meaning we are able to carry a 3,500-seater church uh, in one service. So we are looking at a bigger capacity so that we, we don't have three services. We only need maybe uh, one or two. And, and we are trusting God that uh, we'll expand the church uh, as our first, first two so that we can accommodate all the ministries and increase and, and more so develop our, our Doxa TV. And because growth is not static, we look forward to Deliverance Church aging gracefully in Jesus' name. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the Rehoboat celebration. And that there were no more quarrels of problems. And he called it Rehoboat, meaning saying, the Lord has given us room to expand. So we are pausing to thank God and call this celebration Rehoboat, uh, saying that God has given us room again to expand. It's my joy and pleasure, first of all, and to celebrate with my son, Mohammed Kamwar, and his wife, Grace. As you turn 60, congratulations, you have reached the sixth floor. Welcome to the sixth floor. Me, I'm leaving it. I'm going to the seventh floor. Therefore, I leave that floor for you. May you revel in it. It's a great time. Now, God has given you that. I pray that may God multiply your days and add years to your life, and may God give you quality years and quality days. And as for the church, you're just beginning. 20 years is still young. You're just, coming, you're just reaching adulthood. You're no longer a teenager. You're just becoming an adult. Therefore, there's still much more territory for you to conquer. Even you, Mohammed, don't, don't you dare anybody tell you you are now old. No. When Joshua was old, God told him, Joshua, you are old. But yet, there's still more territory for you to conquer. I challenge you by the grace of God. I send you forth and I commend you by the grace and the power of the Holy Spirit as a person as a church, as a team, Grace and Mohammed, work together. There's still more territory for you to conquer. Me and my wife, Pashia Mudoni Masinde, uh, the first lady, my, my, my first lady, we rejoice with you, we thank God for you, we celebrate you, and we send you forth in the power of the Holy Spirit. Plant more churches, start more ministries, go to more territories, go international. The door is open, move in Jesus' name, and God bless you. Congratulations on your anniversary. 20 years, 60 years, God bless you. Happy 20th birthday, Deliverance Church Kitengela, and a happy birthday to Bishop Kamwaro, our father, mentor, leader, and friend. <laughs>